Hi, this is Chris at Lightforce. You can find me on Twitter. I'm twitter.com slash Lightforce. Before we start, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the Dads of Destiny Foxtrot on the PlayStation 4 because this was made for all of you who want to create that semi-professional looking Twitch profile. Now, I would define myself as a professional, but as we all know, I'm pretty much a hack and I get carried everywhere I go. Now, before we start, we're going to cover our profile banner, profile picture, video player banner, as well as our panel graphics. The panel graphics being those that we see here on the right hand side. Now, you might be thinking, where do I find these images? Because I'm not that good in Photoshop. Well, there's many different places you can go. And many of the resources, if you simply use Google, are free. You simply need to provide credit to the graphics artist who created them. And that's what I've done here. Now, if we want to change our profile banner, that's the big banner here on this page, we simply click this button and we need to go and then upload an image. It's very important that this image is 900 by 480 pixels. Anything bigger or smaller has the potential of not fitting within all the different Twitch platforms, and that's when this solid color in the drop down comes into play. Having uploaded this image already, I'm going to click Done. The next step is to click the little wrench beside your name over on the left hand panel. Once we get to the settings page, we go down to profile picture, we choose a file, make sure it's square because it tends to format a whole lot better and no bigger than three megabits. And it could be a GIF, JPEG or PNG. Having already uploaded the file, I'm going to go and scroll down and I'm going to click save changes. We now have a profile banner as well as a profile picture, but I also want to create a video player banner. And when I'm offline, I'd like to be able to tell my viewers as opposed to simply a gray screen. So you'll notice here I have a profile banner, a video player banner, sorry. To do that, you simply upload it. Just make sure it's 16 by 9 because that makes it fill the whole video player. Something outside of that aspect ratio, again, creates issues and you'll find that Twitch is going to do its best to adjust the content different than the way you intended. Again, having already had one here, go all the way down and click save. So far, so good. Now, if I go back to my profile, You'll notice on the right hand side, we have some panels. These panels outline Twitter, an FAQ, uh, if you want to donate and, and all of that's quite easy to be done. It's just, it can't be done on this page. The easiest way is to actually go to our channel. When we go to our channel and we scroll down, you'll notice there's a button that says edit panels. Simply click the button where it says off and turn it on. Now you'll see all of the panels that are available to you light up. Now, if you're new to this, you may not see anything like you see on my screen because I've already got it set up, but you'll see this plus. You simply click the plus, add in a title, add an image if you would like. And just, I want to give a shout out the Twitch panels that I'm using, the graphics that you see are for steam and FAQs are actually by Ren is dead. And I'll post a link because uh, Ren is dead has made them available to all of us online. But if you'd like something different, as I said, Google search, there's a lot of free resources. If you'd like to spend a little money and customize them yourself, uh, you can do either or. Now, having added the panels, I can move them around. I can update them as need be. Again, this is entirely up to you. Type in a description, make sure you don't use any HTML. It's got to be all in the markdown format. And once completed each panel, click submit. Having done all this, if you have any panels that you decide you don't need after all, simply click remove and it'll ask you, do you want to delete this? And I do, so I'll click delete. Now that I'm happy, I'm going to scroll all the way to the top here and I'm going to turn the edit panels button to off. Having done so, I now have my panels that'll be displayed anytime I'm broadcasting on Twitch. Alternatively, if anyone were to ever go to my profile page and we'll go back there in just a moment, you'll notice on the right hand side under info, all of the banners are there. Now, Twitch will scale these banners and images as fit, depending on the platform that the person's viewing on. Maybe it's a tablet, maybe it's online, maybe it's on their PlayStation 4. And that's pretty cool because now, as you can see, I look like a semi-pro. I just need to figure out how to improve my skills so I actually match that moniker. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Go to Twitter, twitter.com slash lightforce. Shoot me a question. I'll do my best to answer or alternatively head down to the comments. And again, I'd like to give a shout out to the dads of destiny Foxtrot on the PS4. I'd encourage you to go to dodfoxtrot.com and check us out with all that. Take care.